I'm not wearing makeup today, just lipstick. It's makeup free day. Makeup free day. I think it's fine. Hmm? Hi, Assalamu alaikum, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. So, today's video, but wait a minute. In two days from now, it's Ramadan. I'm guessing this video is going to be uploaded during Ramadan. So, I want to wish all of you guys happy Ramadan for those who are fasting. And I want to show you, I want to wish you, um, a beautiful Ramadan, a healthy one, and may Allah accept your good deed and your fast and also forgive you for anything that you have committed or you did last year, or, you know what I mean. So I wish you a lovely um, Ramadan. So it is one of the holy months that I really do enjoy. And yeah, I want to wish you guys, all of you, happy Ramadan. So um, today's video, actually, I'm going to share with you one of the preparation for Ramadan. So me and Hamid, we're going to make some Moroccan dish that, not a dish, sorry, it's like sweets that we have in Ramadan. So I'm going to make Sulu and also going to make Shabakia. And um, yeah, so I was thinking that it would be lovely to share with you the recipe and also uh, note that I'm not expert. So this is my own way of making the Shabakia. Maybe it is not the traditional way to make it. And also not changing the way to make the cello so it's my own recipe my, my own twist on it so i hope you will like it otherwise i'm going to link in the info box my friend youtube channel where she's going to share with you how she's making a healthier way of making shebekia and sorry cello cello and i think also shebekia if i'm not mistaken so i will link down below in the info box how to make a healthier version of the sweets that i'm going to make today so the sweets that we're going to make is actually it's healthy i'm not going to say healthy healthy because i have lots of honey so um i should not say healthy at all um so yeah so let's let me share with you what we're going to do today and also the preparation that we're going to do so yeah see you in a bit so Hamid is preparing our brunch, isn't it? No, you prepared the brunch and I'm just putting it on the plate. <laughs> yes, whatever, because now I'm tired. So we're having the, um, what do we call this? It's the British brunch. So we have hash browns, we have beans. Hamid, can you put the beans on the, the on croissant? Yes. Yes. I don't know why you put it on the side because you meant be to plate. eat it. Okay. Me, I like it on the side. I don't like it mixed, you know. That's yeah. Why. And also we have here the ingredient, and also we have here the ingredients that we will need for today's recipe. I did receive some cello and shebekia already from my friends. Here you go. You can see it here, and uh, they're really tasty. They remind me of Morocco. I feel like I'm in the old, like in the Medina, which is the old city of Fez, and I'm eating the saloon shabakia. So I will share with you a clip here when I just received it. So today, my friend, she sent me some shabakia and salo. This look like so nice. She have so many different type of um, shabakia, and also she have this lovely, lovely salo. I cannot wait to try it. It look already nice and delicious. Um. By the way, I'm going to make Shebekia the weekend, this weekend. Maybe this video is going to be with the same video that I'm sharing how I'm making my Shebekia and also Sallu. So yeah, I might call her and ask her how she make it. So I will make the same um, same way that she did it as well. And yeah, so if you want to see how I'm making my Shebekia and my Sallu, so keep watching. So let's see Hamid if you really do know me so there is here a question or a um, test that is between um, the husband more between the couple so let's see the questions the first question Oops. Okay. Yeah. all right first question when is your girlfriend's birthday second um, of January well done by the way he's he's peeling the almonds that we that we we did what we boiled we get ready for the recipe today okay so what is the second question oh what is what is my middle name hamid you don't have a middle name good answer christopher Gia, right that is right <laughs> <laughs> what is my they said parents name but for you hamid it's going to be what is my grandparents name 
You've never told me your grandparents' name, so how will I know? You shut up, you know. Because you read my paper, you know there was a lot of paper, just try to guess. I did, I did, are you kidding me? It was written in Arabic. I don't really? remember. Yes. Me too. You don't, you didn't tell me your grandparents' name either. You never told me, so how am I supposed to know? I told you one, I remember I told you one, I said I might make my daughters the same name. Give her the same name. Middle, I'm as a middle name. I don't it know. starts with A, A, me, Ami, <laughs> Ami. It's like Amin, but for a girl. Amina? Yes, it's my grandma's name. That okay, but that's not. I told you this one. I remember. Okay, I'm let's go for the second you. question. So the next question is, what is my eyes color? Don't look. They are brownish hazel color. No. I don't know, I'm not good on colours. Oh, this is your answer now? Yeah, they are brown, almost black. They're black, they're yeah, bra dark, dark brown. Yeah, dark brown. That's so the other question is, what is your, um, multi what is my color, my allergies? Do I have any allergies? You have allergies? quite a few allergies, Ikram. You have combination allergies, you have allergies to the melon with the veins on top of it. Yeah, the top you of it. You have sometimes prawn. If I eat just random stuff, pollen. Yeah, I have a lot of allergies. Spring and this summer allergies. I just had the. What did I have yesterday? <laughs> yeah, pollen allergy. I think so. Yeah, it was too horrible. I shouldn't go out and stay with them near to the blossomed uh, trees. Okay. Okay. So the other question is your favorite the, movie. Yes. Of all time. I don't know. You don't have all time favorite movie. Me. This is your problem. I do say the one. You I have like? movies that you like, but I don't. There is a one that I. I this is I, my I top like top forever. movie. That's true. Yes. The difficult one. What is my favorite meal? Like your some... favorite meal at the well interchanged. Free, uh, no, no, don't talk ago. about me now because now I'm craving. It was lattice. This is because I all I hear was lattice, no, lattice, lattice. No, this is was because I was pregnant. No, something else. Like what is my? Do you know it's snowing, Ikram. Is it snowing? It's snowing outside. Look. Yeah, it's it snowing. is. I cannot film because they might recognize where I, we're living. Yeah, but it's snowing outside. Yeah. So say say, Hemi, what is my favorite? Don't. Don't jump from something to something. Answer the question first. What is my favorite? Have, I don't know. Actually, you brought it yesterday. yesterday. And you put it on the fridge. Pizza? No. Well, you fries. On... You always have like fries. No, I didn't eat it yesterday, but you bought it for me yesterday from Tesco. And you don't like Being it. Beans full, but that's you don't, the recent mm, one. That's mm, like I was going to say, but you said don't say anything. No, 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 no. Words. Listen, I will give you a clue. Listen, full. It's raw food. Carrots or celery? No, with rice. Raw something with rice. Oh, sushi. Yeah, it is, it is true. Yeah, that's all-time favorite. It is actually. Yeah, but I, I cannot eat a lot of it. But it's my favorite. It's, if yeah, you said this, you want to eat it. I could remember. It I could remember it. But at least I bought it for you, even though I don't remember it. You know, I know subconsciously. You know I like it. This is yes. why you bought it. Yes. Okay, next question. If there is any, oh. the other question is when did we get married? Ah, oh, when we had our our drip stack or our actual wedding ceremony. Which are these specific? Um, I think getting married it's when we had drip stock. Yeah, seven. That was. I always get the date wrong. It's May 2017. No, not 27. Yeah, 2017. Yeah, but yeah. Which, which day? Okay, it was either uh, 14, 15, no. 15 or 17. 17. No, actually, we wanted to have it in the 17, but some of the paper wasn't ready and we did it the day it was flying. 18. Yes, so the 18 of? 18 of May. Which year? 2017. Yeah, and then when it was our wedding? 17th of July of the same year. 17, 7, 17. Yes. Yeah, I think you, you succeeded on this one, but I have an extra bonus question. I got more right than most of these guys. You got everything right. Yeah, this one, none of them has said right. So, I have a question. Yes. What is my favorite season? 
It's uh, spring season. Autumn. Autumn. Yes, I like autumn because in the is... UK you like autumn. Yeah. Or the countries where you can see autumny flowers, whatever you call, or autumn leaves. Yeah, I like autumn since I start coming to this country. I start to like autumn, but before I used to like spring. Yeah. But back then we didn't have this horrible allergies. <laughs> so yeah. Okay, your answers are right. High five. Dirty hands. <laughs> oh, you're doing it in COVID the uh, COVID way. way. Okay, you're doing well. So I will carry on really making really the stuff that we need for recipe. You're really or we are picking you're getting a pro in this. I will come and help you. It is snowing. I don't know if you can see it, but there is some snow. Yeah. Ah, best for me to close the window. I'm in the door. It's weird. It's kind of like snowing and at the same time sunny. Okay, here's my questions for you then. Okay, what is your question then? What's my date of birth? What What's do you my mean? Birthday? What is your birthday? Yes. Your birthday. No, let's put the proof on. Okay, your birthday is in the second month, six year. I will not say the year because okay, it's private. That's right. Okay. Is it correct? So, yes. Okay. So, what's my favorite movie of all time? You don't have one. Yes, I do. Oh, maybe it's Marvel movies. No. Okay, it's still blurry now. Wait. Mm, I don't know. You never it's told me. It's a movie me. that we you never see me watch it. So I will not know. Yeah, you you, you don't know. It's called The Shawshank Redemption. I never watched it's, it. It's um, it's actually. Do you remember the Green Mile, the one with the the big guy who was in the prison and who could heal people? Yes. It's the same writer who did that. <laughs> writer, I mean, I'm not that good. Yeah, that I wouldn't know the writers. Yeah, but I know, but I'm saying it's the same, right? So it's called the Shawshank Redemption. Okay, perfect. Okay, and we, more what, question. What's the other question they were saying? Do I have any allergies? Yes, if you eat too much egg. If I eat too much egg, okay. And what was the other question? What is your grandparents' name? I don't know. You never told me. Yeah, okay, you won't know. I never told you. That's the okay. So what about? What's my what's my 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 dad's name? I have to do something. Abdul Musabir. Abdul Musabir, yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what color is my eyes then? It's uh, it's lighter than my eye. It's da it's dark you could dark say, brown could dark brown but lighter than mine. Can you tell me something? Something you could say any answer and I would not really care. It's so long as it's not like blue or something. <laughs> <laughs> If you so talk black or brown, I'll be like, okay, whatever. I don't know it myself. <laughs> it's dark brown, but lighter than mine. Okay. Uh, what's my shoe size? It's nine and a half. Oh, you know, this is easy for you. Because you mock me about it. <laughs> <laughs> Many times. By the way, you need you desperately need a haircut. Yeah, stop filming my hair. It's really bad. No, oh, I'm not filming it. Okay, by the way, there was a, a barbershop inside the when i went to to get the um, melon for you yeah it was opening opposite the iceland and he said open time i said are you open and he said no no we're just ready for tomorrow so what time tomorrow he said 10 30. i was like oh it's a bit 10 30. it's a bit yeah. too late for me yeah i see okay but anyway tomorrow inshallah you will manage to have your haircut i'm it's sure not, some I'm of the barber i might open. skip tomorrow and go tuesday because i'm thinking it's gonna be very busy tomorrow isn't it a lot of people might go don't you think i have no idea you will see yeah, maybe they will be starting queuing since seven or maybe even five in the morning. I, think I need to leave, wake up early and go get that nine. Now I'm I'm going to enjoy some sushi. I'm so looking forward to eat all of this. So Chef Hamid, he will start mixing salu, isn't it, love? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so um, so this is the ingredient that we will need for salu. So we have here some um almonds. The almonds actually I boil them and then I remove the skin and then I fry them and then I have these that they are just how they are and then these ones are the mixed ones so I use not mixer a blender sorry blender and I blend them properly and then here I have some sort of nuts mixed of nuts well not 
no sorry this is the walnut walnut this is the walnut and other type of nut so i i uh, roast them a little bit and then i mix i blend them in the bl nut blender and then this this one it's the peanuts so what i did actually i bought peanuts that it's roasted already but i couldn't find the one that it's without salt so it was salted roasted so i think it's fine so i just did the same thing so i blend it with the nut blender here we have some flour so what we did with flour actually the same thing i just roast them i roast it and I, I have to mix it so I think I roast it for 15 20 minutes until it's become this beautiful uh, color don't um, forget to mix it because it could go burned in the pan but you can still if you want you can use it in the oven but you have to keep an eye on it and mix it so it will not go black this one actually it's sesame seed so i roast the sesame seed and then after that i mix it in the nut blender as well here we have some of the what is the name of that sugar, uh, sugar icing sugar and then we have honey we have the cinnamon and then we have some olive oil and we have so what i did with the butter i tried to do a beurre noisette i don't know what is this in english but technically what i did i took some of the butter that it's from the milk so it's not margarita but it's the milk uh, butter and then i cook it slowly on the uh, really low heat and then i waited for it until it starts bubbling and then after bubbling i try to remove the bubbles and then i let, I let it uh, slowly um cooked until it become like that so yeah so hamid are you ready yes let's do it so you have to mix all of these things together all right okay so let's start so you can add it oh by the way Hamidia corrects me he said i said margarita instead of margarine so for the butter so anyway um you can add it salt as well but me i'm not going to add it salt because the because the peanuts have already the salt so let's see Hamid's going to mix all of these ingredients together so what's next to do Hamid? So we're going to add all the dry ingredients together and then mix them. So I'm going to start maybe with the first with the flour. Okay. Should I add all of it? Yeah, add all of it. I think I'll add them in the middle. Okay, this is the next one. Okay, so now we're adding the, the peanuts, peanuts, which are already dry roasted. Oh, you're so amazing on that, explaining what you're doing. Yeah. And these then mix the nuts. And these are mixed nuts. Shall I start mixing them first? No, put everything and then you can mix everything. Okay. Alright, what should be next? Just a little bit of this one. This is a almond, but just like a half, in, less than a half, you know. Half of it? No, less than a half, because I'm going to use it for the other things. Okay. Or maybe a half. Okay. No more. Yeah. Okay. Now sesame seeds. Yeah, and then the sesame seeds use the half as well. So Hamid, he did added the icing sugar. Forget to film it. So now he's, he makes all the dry ingredients and he's going to add the butter and olive oil and honey and some cinnamon. Yes. <laughs> okay. So as you can see, there is still some honey. I mean, some uh, white thing from the icing. It wasn't properly... Think, but I think when we mix it, it will melt. Should be fine. Yeah make a hole so he can put the the ingredient okay, okay. starting with the batter maybe i don't know you're the expert no you're the expert you're the Should one who make it last year yeah all of it by the way hamid he's mixing the cello in this dish Should i mix it now or add the other stuff? i did the other one maybe to make it easy for you no no the i olive. can mix it first then. okay so the dish where Hamid is mixing this, it's called a kasa, which is um, 
a Moroccan, um, what do you call it, a Moroccan plate that we use to mix things on it. Be careful. Should I squeeze? Yeah, you, you should start squeezing now. So now he have to squeeze so to make the butter go inside the the this knots bowl, and this bowl thing. is not big enough for me actually. Oh, sorry for that. I think we are using we're making a lot of cello. Let me help you. I think we need to put something under the. Can we put something thing. around here? Yeah, I'm coming. So this is how cello look like. Hamid, he was mixing it properly, and then squeezing it. And he did add the honey and then also the olive oil. Sorry, I didn't film that because I had to help him, you know, making sure that the the, the salute will not come off off the dish because the dish is smaller for it. And also, Hamid, he made a comment. He asked me. He told me why my friends um salu, let me show you why my friend salu it's darker than the one we made to be honest you can have salu darker if you do you keep the skin of the almond or if you keep the skin of the um the peanut but for me i prefer not having it with the skin so um yeah so this is why the color it's um like this and also when you finish making it you have to put it on um a container and really squeeze it properly so that will make a difference as well now he's seen it all like soft can you show us hamid how you was um mixing it if you can give us okay. oh now he's added in some of the full almonds so that we will have some almonds inside so it was well. I was. Should I mix it before I add more almonds? Yeah, yeah just to show show us how you so did it. So I was it. mixing like this to add pressure. Yeah. Try not to make it fall down. <laughs> yes, be careful. Yeah. So this is how he he had it. So that's oh, be careful. The other side's coming off. So this is how he he did it. So the oil and everything would be mixed, and even the nuts will break down and uh, bring out their um oil so yeah so salute it's finished thank you chef hamid welcome <laughs> Dark, did it? so by the way the weather it's become better it was snowing earlier and now it's sunny so weird but you see there is some uh, sad and uh, mad cloud as yeah. well so I think he will mix, 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 mix until he's really tired. <laughs> yes. The problem is, will any of it be left inside the bowl or all of it will be just falling down the sides? This is the question. Oh, uh, hopefully not. I'm coming to help you. So now we're going to mix Shebek here. So for that, we will need, um, here I have almond. So the almond that I boiled, peeled, roast no sorry fried and blonde and then we will need some flour we will need blossom orange blossom water we will need here sesame seeds also same thing roasted and blended and then here we need some of the almond to be honest i can use this almond instead of this one um so i will think about it here we have some sesame seed that it's roasted we will need um um, frying oil, we'll need olive oil, we'll need vinegar, some of the honey, grounded cinnamon, turmeric, salt and melted batter. So let's start. First thing I have to melt it, the batter. So we will do this first. And then we'll put the dry ingredient on here. And the last ingredient is bacon powder. What did we call this thing? Sassif. Sassif. Okay, we'll take the sassif. No, no, no. It, uh, I'm saying... It's a sieve and I said it's a sieve. It's not a sieve. It's what just, is this? Just sieve. Sieve, okay. Yeah. <laughs> we will take the sieve, whatever, and we'll use it to, um, you know, to make sure that the flour is really soft. There's nothing on it. I think instead of using this type of um, almond, I'm going to use just the one that it's almond powder. So after adding all the dry ingredient, I added more flour because I thought I may need more flour. So now I'm going to mix all of these with the, well to be honest I have to add it 
the cinnamon this should be enough and then turmeric with some salt you can mix with the spoon or with your hand now I'll start with the spoon and later on I will use my hand and then now I'm going to add the dry ingredients so the dry ingredient is melted butter here we go some vinegar not a lot just a little bit like one tablespoon sorry teaspoon oops and then some oil you can add any type of oil to be honest so I think I will add a little bit of olive oil not too much so I don't want it to be in the, the flavor too much just a little bit like that okay so I will mix all of these things I'm going to use blossom water so that it will be having flavor instead of just being um, without anything. To be honest, you can add it anise and Arab gum, but I don't have either of these ones, so I'm just going to make it normal way. Okay, I'm going to mix this and I will be back with you. So this is the dough, so I mix it properly until it becomes a really nice soft dough, and I... Um, you know, I cut it to spread it, spread it, no, cut it to small portions and I will let them rest for like 15-20 minutes and then after that I will start uh, modeling them the, the shape I want. Okay, so um, I put some oil on here and then I'm going to spread it and I will try to do it as thin as I could, as thin as I could. So now after spreading the dough, I'm going to cut it. So we'll cut it to thin uh, things like that. And for cutting, I'm using this. I don't know if you can see it. Here we go. I'm going to take one like this, and I will take one tiny small cup. And hope I can see. I think here you can see. I'm going to put put it like this, and then turn over, turn, 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 turn. Keep turning. Maybe if I turn this light on, it would be better. No, turn on the living room light, sorry. That's it. So like this, and then I will pinch it here, and pinch here, and then I will peel it off the cup. And then I will have something like that. So I will pinch here, and pinch here, put it down, and then peel the layers like this and then just like move it like that and here we go so here's another shipwreck. yeah I will do the same thing for the other one so it's handmade stern Let's see if you can do it. You can put the cup here. Yeah. It's not particularly long, this one, isn't it? Yeah, because this is the edge. Well, it's not a very nice one, but I'll do that one like that. Okay, first one, but... Weird. <laughs> <laughs> Look how many I made so far.
So Hamid he's frying them now in the oil and then straight after they become red he put them on the honey straight away. You see how they look like? So this one is have honey already on it so you can see the honey is here. So we can cover them with some honey straight away. So rice when they are hot so that they will absorb the honey. Otherwise if they are dry, I mean not dry, um, oh. cold, the honey should be warm so that they will get absorbed it. So I did also made this shape which is easy to make. So technically you just cut like a triangle and then you take one edge and you join it to the other edge and then you press and shoot it like that. I mean square. So let me show you again. Take it like this. You take this edge join it to the middle and then you take this edge and you join it to the middle and you squeeze them together okay. so after taking it from the um, the honey here I mean, Hamid is pouring more I was about to say Amin my mom she said I have to speak with him he sent me a message this is why I told you he's, he was thinking about me today I keep saying his name yeah. anyway so now I'm going to have some sesame seed and spread it in the in the top. Watch your hand because I'm sorry. I'm okay. Still. And just spread some sesame seeds so that it will stick to the honey. Just like this. I'm sure it will not touch the bottom part, but it's fine. So this is our beautiful shabakia. It looks really yummy and tasty. It's really delicious with the blossom. Um, orange blossom it's really nice you have to try it and then this is our salu so this is salu my salu it's always like that it's not too dark because i don't like to um roast it the nut too much uh, otherwise my friend she's going to share on her youtube channel how to make healthy style of salu her channel it will be linked in the info box but otherwise her links her um channel it's called um, healthy cooking with uh, Raja so I will link it in the info box and then here this is the same dough of the Shebekiya but I make it in this style and in this shape it's really lovely really amazing you have definitely to try these beauties So for dinner we're having pizza and some fries, I mean pizza, some cook and also we're watching um, Thundam, Thar Thunder, Thunder Force, so yeah, okay. <laughs>